Fodra is just as lovely as you said it would be. It looks bad now, but a long time ago it was teeming with life. What's that? Over there. Looks like flowers. It's beautiful. We were total goners. Is this really a city? Supposedly, it was once a truly splendid sight. And now it's fallen to this. How sad. There was a girl in the meadow. She was real, right? I saw her with my own eyes. Does that mean someone's still living here? Even if that were the case, it's unnatural to see an area so full of life on a dead rock like this. Was that a monster? Look out! Stand strong! like that was the last of them. What do we do now? Let's start by investigating the city. Okay. Sigh. What happened? What's this? What was that? I think the light was some of Fodra's Eleth. Hmm. But in that case... The building on that map looks to be some kind of facility. Eleth Research Laboratory? Huh. 
I bet they were researching Fodra's core there. Can you locate its position? Yep. Let me just send the coordinates to the shuttle. Sweet! Now we can just zoom on over there. If monsters are in this city, I hate to think what it's like outside. Sai, do you know what's happening at the lab right now? Looks like we'll have to go there and find out. Looks like it. Pascal, can you find the meadow with the flowers? Well, that crazy lady blew us way off course. But yeah, I think I could find it again. I... I feel like I have to meet that girl. What do you think? I've been wondering about the meadow myself. But I think we should check out the lab first. Does that work for you, Sophie? What's wrong? What is it? Hmm, I see. You understand what he's saying? Not really, no. Sai, do you want to come with us? Is that okay, Asbel? Of course. What happened here? It's very different from the other places we've seen on Fodra. I think it's kind of creepy. I'm guessing it's been this way for at least a few hundred years. Whatever happened took place the same time Fodra was dying. Dying. Are you alright? What is it? I knew it. She's calling me. Strange. I didn't hear anything. I think we should wrap things up here as soon as we can. What are you thinking about now, Pascal? Well, I'm trying to figure out the language Sai uses. If we can understand each other, I'm kind of hoping we can be friends. Oh, but will it be easy becoming friends so quickly? Sure. I mean, you and I are already buds, right? Yes. Are you getting jealous by any chance, Sophie? Jealous? Oh, right. Jealousy is when... I know. Jealousy is what a crafty woman causes, in order to get her hooks deeper into a man. You've been talking to Captain Malik again. Oh, I want to be a crafty woman! I don't think we'll be able to proceed. If only we could fix the elevation difference. Check that machine gizmo over there. I think its switches correspond to the colors on the floor. If I mess around with it, I'm sure something will happen. Something meaning what? Something good? Oh, it should be fine. You seem oddly calm about this. I'm resigned to the fact that Pascal's messing around will bring us to some sort of painful finish. Hubert, you want Pascal's messing around to bring you to a painful finish? What? That's... I didn't say that. Hey, maybe she's into that sort of thing. Who am I to judge, right? I did not say that! This looks like some kind of lab. What does it say? The data's all damaged, so it's kind of hard to tell. I think it's some kind of research log.
Signs of change apparent in Fodra's core. Further details are unfortunately unclear. Researchers who have been sent to investigate are due to return shortly. We asked Director Cornell for his opinion, but he has yet to respond. He appears to believe that his research with Lambda will somehow provide us with the answers that we seek. In the meantime, we've asked Emerald for her assistance. We hope this leads to new developments in our quest for the truth. The birth of the little queen. In truth, we're not quite sure how to handle this predicament. Our initial research team was completely annihilated. Survivors from the second team, however, managed to bring back samples for further study. Unfortunately, these survivors are in critical condition and are undergoing medical treatment. They aren't expected to live much longer. We must not let their sacrifices be in vain. We will begin researching the samples immediately. So it's Lambda and Emerald again, is it? And something called the Little Queen. Any idea what he's talking about? Fodra's core produces Elith, which has an effect on creatures the core created. Nothing more. Do you know something, Lambda? I too was created by Fodra's core. It is a trivial matter for me to observe the flow of the Core's Elif. Is it possible the Core will affect you? Or Sophie? Do you fear the evolution of my power? Are you afraid of losing control? No, it's not that. I'm just worried that you and Sophie might be... hurt. Hmm. Asbel, your eye. Are you okay? Me? No, I'm fine. Are you okay? I think so, but I feel strange. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like I felt it before. If everyone's ready, we have more exploring to do. Let's see what we can find. No two ways about it. I don't like this place at all. You hate this place? So what place do you like, Sharia? I like Launt, and I love that flower meadow on Launt Hill. And Asbel? Do you love Asbel? Asbel? Um, that <laughs> isn't really the kind of love I was talking about. Oh, because I love Asbel. Well, if you put it like that, then I guess... <laughs> I do too. Hooray! We both love Asbel. I also love crablets. Crablets? They're so delicious. Do you hate crablets? I don't hate crablets, no, but I just... I wouldn't put them at the same level as Asbel. It's strange how they can preserve records from a thousand years ago in a machine like this. Truly impressive. Sophie was born around the time these records were made, and she's been alive ever since! Such a long time. It makes it easier to understand her desire to become human, and her desire to not be left behind. I feel the opposite. Whenever age takes its toll on me, I yearn for the power to stop time. Oh my gosh, I would love to be able to stop time! So even you feel that way, Pascal? Heck yeah! Whenever I get dirty, I think about stopping time so I won't get any dirtier. Then I'd never have to take a bath! <sighs> when you say things like that, your suitors may start to lose interest in you. Suitors? What suitors? What? Uh, well, uh... 
Hey, Hubert, why don't you answer? Me? Why do I? I mean, for me, uh, see, that's not particularly a problem. <laughs> of course not. We all know you're... Addicted to her aroma, right? Ew. I never dreamed Emerald would be involved with all this. If she were still alive, she might have been able to help us resolve the situation. Hey, wait a minute. Sai doesn't know Emerald's dead, does he? Emerald told him to take care of things while she was gone. He's probably been waiting for her the whole time. I thought he needed to know, so I told Sai what happened to Emerald. Sophie. I said she won't come back and he won't see her again. He seemed to understand. I wonder if he's capable of understanding death. Sophie's words are clear. She won't come back, and he won't see her again. Although that's not all there is to it. No, that's not all. Death also brings an enduring feeling of loss that takes hold in the hearts of those who continue to live on. It makes me wonder if Sai's capable of such emotion. I doubt it. An enduring feeling of loss for those who remain. I wonder if that's what I'm starting to feel. This murky fog building up in my chest. It looks like this place is the control room. Let me try something. What is that? It's completely different than Aphinia's Lestalia. It's like it's alive. <gasps> Something's wrong. Get back, quickly! <gasps> Pascal! What's going on? Everyone, look out! I've never seen anything like it. It's coming! Get ready! I expect the best from everyone. One plus one. I think finish! My I won't hold back! Brilliant! 
I'll give you everything I've got. And this, and some of these, expiation! enemies for nothing. We did it. What was that? I don't know, but one thing is quite clear. Something's wrong with Fodor's core. But with the device broken... I don't know if we'll find out more. Pascal, any ideas? Hmm. Oh, I know! Why are you pawing at that humanoid? I want to access any information it recorded while it was still functioning. Your little queen sample is most appreciated. Are you sure this will allow us to finally defeat Lambda? Yes, it will be the final piece in Protos Hasis creation. Please don't be hasty with your investigations, Everard. We don't even know what the little queen is. We mustn't jump to conclusions. Well then. Perhaps you would rather sit back and wait for Lambda's monsters to destroy us all. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, who wants that? Why do you think I decided to summon you in the first place? A very wise decision it was on your behalf. <sighs> no one must know about the Little Queen situation. Don't worry, I understand. Believe me, I promise you, the last thing I want to do is start frightening everyone. Fodra, tell me, what is it that you want? What was all that? Looks like it took place before Sophie was born. So the little queen was actually that girl inside of the core? That appears to be the case. But the question is, who is she? Exactly. And why does she remind me so much of Sophie? I don't know her. What is going on? I don't understand it. Emerald said the data from the Little Queen would complete Protos Haste. Protos Haste. That was my... my old name. I think we'd better move this discussion outside. Wait, wait! I want to grab the data from that other humanoid! Pascal, hurry! Oh, no, now what? Look at that. Is that her? Who are you?
found you. Child of Fodra. Huh? She can speak. Come to me. Watch out, Sophie. Watch out! Everyone move! Pascal! Almost there! And done! Sophie! Come on! Let's get out of here! Thanks, Richard. You're lucky you aren't dead. I agree. That was extremely foolish, my brother. Regardless, he's safe. But who was that girl? I don't know, but she feels somehow... familiar. Sophie? Oh, what is it? Hurry, Pascal! We're not safe yet. We're not? There are flowers here as well. It reminds me of the meadow and lot. It's weird. These flowers. I don't know. It's like I'm looking at a painting or something. I know what you mean. We're surrounded by nature, and yet, it feels very... unnatural. How goes the shuttle? Think we can take off soon? Yeah, um, no. Asai's working on it, but it's gonna take a while. Hey, Sophie! Try not to wander off. She's calling me. She wants me to come this way. Are you still hearing voices? For what it's worth, I don't think she's imagining it. 
Well, we've got some time. Let's take a look around while Sai works on the shuttle. Emerald said Fodra had been destroyed completely. And yet, even after everything, this was here all along. Looking back, Emerald tried to merge with Lambda and gain his power in order to bring new life to Fodra. But Lambda refused her, despite her wishes. And her efforts were for naught, as new life had already taken hold. I feel sorry for Emerald. Yeah. Have you forgotten that Emerald planned for Sophie to sacrifice herself in order to destroy Lambda? And that she was the main cause of Lambda's pain in the first place? How can you feel for her? I do. I sympathize with her being forced into making such a cruel decision. Maybe we can honor her memory by seeing this world through to a brighter future. So very Asbel. Yes, but that's what I love. Uh-huh. Aw. I've never seen such beauty. Not even on Amphinia. You're right. But why is this area the only one covered in flowers? It's probably filled with concentrated elith or something. Look at that. I've never seen peaceful monsters before. What's happening here? Come with us, child of Fodra. You don't want to be alone, do you? Huh? Someday, all of these people will be gone. It will be sad. It will be frightening. Help me. I don't know what to do. But we will soothe your troubled heart. Forever. What? We, all of us, we will take the place of your pain. Let us spend eternity together. Together? Oh, wait. They're gone. The hell was that? Was it some kind of illusion? But it felt so real. Sophie, hang on. I... know her. Huh? And she knew me, too. Oh, my head. It hurts. Take it easy, Sophie. Rest for a minute, and then we'll head back. No, I have to see her again. She's waiting for me. Please, Asbel, I have to talk to her. I can't stop thinking about what she said. All right, let's go. I wonder if the person who's been calling out to Sophie is up ahead. I wonder too. But more than that, I'm just eager to find out who it is. Maybe it's Conchatus from the Flotillion! Conch... wait, what? <sighs> He's a super evil, super scary shell man that controls humans with his electrowave powers! A uh, shell man? Uh, and you know what? He's the boss of the Flotillion! Both of you, stop! What's wrong, Hubert? First of all, it isn't Conchatus, it's Conchider. Secondly, in the Sunscreen Ranger universe, the villains are not shell men, they are Shellians. Oh, right! I forgot Little Bro is such a big fan of the Sunscreen Rangers. Conchider is not the boss of the Flotillion. He's the boss of the Waterbreakers, which is an affiliate of the Flotillion. I can't follow this at all.
How do you know me? How do you know how I feel? How? The stars bring life. The wind caresses. The earth embraces. Flowers bloom. Life thrives. And who disturbs that circle? Humans. Come, child of Fodra. Help us kill the humans. Is that what you're after? Die, humans. We will survive.
There's no end to them. Sophie, no! Come back! Come, child. We... All of us... We will ease your loneliness. Stay with us... Forever... An eternity... Without sadness. Eternity without sadness... Sophie, no! Humans... Don't! Oh, this is bad. Die! Lambda protected us? We await you, child of Fodra. She's waiting. Come on, Sophie. Okay.